Yeah, dude. I might be getting kind of old, but I'm still getting rad. And I decided to kick Father Time right in the teeth by booking a killer trip to Alaska for me and my bros to come surf with snow-covered mountains everywhere. It's something I've wanted to do ever since I went to Canada. So I met up with the bros at Burbank Airport, and we didn't just fly into Alaska. That plane was all over the place, and this one guy was screaming his head off. Ah! Ah! I've never heard that. Dude. He's serious too, dude. He thinks he's gonna die. We landed in Anchorage and rented a minivan for the two and a half hour drive to Seward. And if we were worried about there not being enough snow, holy shit, was it snowing on the way to Seward? So we arrived at our home for the next five days. Is that all you brought for shoes, just vans? I brought some flip flops. <laughs> <laughs> it's called the Milo, and the crew is super cool. They showed us where we were sleeping, and we slept like babies. We headed for our first surf session in the morning, and there's porpoises jumping out of the water. We're stoked. The waves weren't that big, but boy, was I shredding them. I mean, dude, we were all shredding them. And you know, a lot of wimpier guys would have been satisfied with the surf shots we got with those snow-covered mountains, but not me. I said to the captain, Mike, we need bigger waves. So we went through rougher waters, and Scott Randolph was not very happy about that. Dude, it's like, can't we just take shelter for fucking six minutes? To be fair, most of our crew was puking all over the place. I'll pay 10 grand to go back home right now, dude. It was the closest thing to deadliest catch any of us had ever experienced. I slept through all that barfing and all that temper tantruming. <laughs> but we made it to our destination, crashed out for the night, and we woke up in the spot to get the shot. And oh boy, did I get the shot I was looking for. Fuck yeah, I call it a stamp. But every stamp in my surf passport has two photos, one surfing and the other one a highlight from the trip. So I asked Captain Mike to get me into some crazy ice slush, and he says, you know what, I'm gonna take you to a glacier. And I said, bitch. So we show up at the glacier, it's like this cove that we pull into, and there's little patches of slush here and there, and I'm trying to pick one out. And then all of a sudden we hear this thunderous crash and we look over and it's like, boom, the whole glacier's falling down. It all crashes into the water and makes a big wave. A whole avalanche is filling up the cove with ice. And I'm like, Dude, I better hurry up and get butt naked and do a gainer off the boat. But everyone's like, no, dude, the ice is coming. Don't do it. And I'm like, I got this. And I might be about to turn 47 years old, but that gainer was sweet. I land in the water and I'm like, whoa, I'm naked and it's cold. But I'm swimming over to the slush to get the shot. I'm in the slush. Scott's flying the drone, it's totally rad and I climb back onto the Milo, get all warmed up, put my clothes on, and then I hear the drone crashed. And I'm like, well, someone's gotta get naked and fucking save the drone. So I took off all my clothes, climbed into the water, and I was going for the drone. But I realized I wasn't gonna go all the way because it was really cold. Ah! Wait, Mom. So I turned back and fucking got back on the boat and the drone sadly sunk to the bottom of the ocean. And we figured, screw it, we'll just have some iced coffee. Yeah, ice in my coffee with a little glacial ice. And I enjoyed that coffee so much because I knew my second photo on my stamp was fucking the shit. What a rad adventure this has been. I just can't recommend booking yourself a trip on the Milo with Captain Mike, who's kicking Father Time in the teeth real good, 65 years old, surfing his ass off. And Mike's right-hand man, Scotty, he'll take some killer photos for you. It's been totally epic, and there's nothing left to do but ride home into the sunset on a setboard, getting towed behind the boat. 
So while I do that, make sure you subscribe to this channel because nothing sucks on here. And what else, man? Have a good day. You! And one thing that will help you have a good day is a simple one-click checkout to buy Stevo sunglasses at stevo.com and they're on sale for $9.99. Come on, summertime, let's do this. Stevo sunglasses. You! <laughs>